How's it going? I'm Justin with McNew Motorsports and I'm going to be working on my RC car today. Um, I've got an Arma Creighton and I'm having some issues with getting the front lower A-arm off. So I called my local hobby shop and they told me how to do it and I just wanted to post a video because I couldn't find any videos when I was trying to do it. So I thought maybe this would be helpful. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to take that um, A-arm apart. So here I am at my Arma Creighton. I've got the um, lower A-arm mostly apart. I've got the new one here with some parts on it already. Um, but as you can see, right here, this guy, I cannot get this plastic piece off of here. So I called my local hobby shop this morning and they said that there's a three millimeter uh, Allen on the other end of this that we need to access on this side to take it apart. So I have some tools here. I've got my fill uh, needle nose pliers. Um, they are snap-on, but you don't need fancy snap-on. Um, I got these. These are Align um, hex Allens. If you're going to be working on RC cars, I would definitely recommend these. And then obviously just the standard Arma um, T-handle wrench thing that it came with. So let's go ahead and take this apart. I'm gonna take the wheel off and then bounce right back. So now that I've gotten the wheel off, I also removed, um, it looks like there's some uh, aluminum plugs here, which is sweet, freaking anodized aluminum plugs. I just took that plug off so that I can access the end of that sucker. And look, sure enough, there's that Allen head. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that, loosen that Allen head up, and then um, I'm gonna try and remove it from the other side and see how it goes. So it turns out, so it turns out that by uh, loosening that Allen head here on this side, it actually pulls the, that, those threads right off of um, your A-arm. So as soon as I get that unthreaded, all I have to do is just thread it back into that thing, I'm assuming. Um, if it goes any differently, I will let you know. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so I have it back together. Just a quick note, when you're um, reassembling everything back here, um, first of all, there are no threads on the new A-arm, so you just kind of have to thread it in, and it's I'm guessing it's just a self-tapping bit there. And then also, when you put this um, anodized cap back on, it's just a cover. There's a plastic piece in there. The plastic piece goes... Um, with the flat side in and the beveled piece out and then this kind of goes around that beveled piece and then when you screw this back in make sure that you um, don't tighten it up all the way um, leave it kind of loose I had to check the tightness on this one just to double check it is a little bit loose I snug this up at first and this sucker was just real stiff and not wanting to move a whole lot so just tighten it up and then make sure you back it out a little bit if you do tighten it up all the way so that it's got a little bit of give. As you can see this side is even just wiggling this tire. You can tell that it's got a little bit of give there. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and button this thing back up and uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos of me bashing here pretty soon. Cool. Again, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I don't allow dislikes on my channel, so if you feel the need to do that, you can go somewhere else. Thanks.